These days, I run a multi-million dollar business. To me, it's like a video game. I'm going to be rich and famous soon, so I need you to prepare your nervous system for that. Meet the new wave of online teachers. A consultant, a doctor, and a salesman who built multi-million dollar course empires, claiming that it all kind of just happened. Up to a million pound revenue range. Also, never felt that hard. It's, it's so wild. I swear the business has just run itself. Like, it's been just so easy. It's like growing, scaling, growing, scaling. But how did they get started? Where does all that money really come from? And what do they know that the rest of us don't? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by Uscreen TV. More on them later. Let's start out with our first teacher, Kat Norton, or Miss Excel. 29 years old, lives in Sedona, United States, and sells Excel courses by dancing on TikTok. Kat Norton claims to have six-figure days, meaning days where she sells courses for more than $100,000. With so many Excel teachers out there, what's her secret? I essentially rewired my mind and I got myself to be magnetic. There's about a spot where I'm like, whoa, I'm worthy of whatever I want. Now, what am I going to go do? So that, and then I also do Kundalini yoga. That's how she makes a hundred thousand dollars a day. You know what? Let's come back to Kat later to better understand what it is that she does differently to excel as an online teacher. Besides being magnetic, feeling worthy, and doing yoga. Let's see if our next guy can offer a bit clarity on how they make all that money online. Next millionaire teacher is Ali Abdal, 29 years old, studied medicine and lives in London. He started his YouTube channel just a few years ago and used to talk about how to graduate from Cambridge and life as a young doctor. Over time, he shifted into book reviews, productivity and passive income, which grew his channel to three and a half million subscribers. With that kind of viewership, you do make money from ads, but YouTube alone is not sending that kind of money. For me and my business, these nine different sources generate around $27,000 per week. And that's an old clip. He makes much more now. From what? You start off as a creator by building the pillars of free content. At some point, you have enough of an audience, enough of a value add that you could potentially make paid content. Okay, so he built an audience on YouTube and then started selling them courses? No. We've made over $2 million from selling our part-time YouTuber Academy, not through selling it on the YouTube channel, because I tend not to mention it on that, but actually through selling it on our email list. Ah, so there's an in-between. He's got a newsletter that he owns. Is that the secret? Let's see how our last millionaire teacher operates, Justin Welsh. 41, former corporate superhero, headed sales teams in software companies, but burned out and wanted a different life. Burnout is what happened to me in a pretty massive panic attack in December of 2018. I went to my co-CEOs, Luke and Travis, and said, hey, I, I need to step down. And so I started creating content on social media. That was the start of sort of being an entrepreneur. Every Saturday, I read his newsletter, The Saturday Solopreneur. A newsletter, just like Ali. Justin writes on LinkedIn a few times every day, and one of his posts really hit home with me, so I subscribed. At the end of each email, there are links to his courses, costing only 150 bucks. Justin claims to make more than $3 million a year. So does he sell about 385 courses per week, year round? Courses, doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, my private community at the time, um, some subscription stuff that I do. So Justin has multiple revenue streams, just like Ali, and he sells his courses through an email newsletter just like Ali. Let's revisit Kat Norton and see what her strategy is. I love to help people. I love Excel and I love to dance. Yes, we know that by now, but how does that convert into dollars? On her website, she has a bunch of courses and surprise, she sells these courses through a series of emails. Kind of like a five email story. I tell a really cool story in it. And then by the fourth email, I give them a discount code. And then by the fifth email, it's like last chance on the discount code. So all three teachers move their following from social media to their own email list that they own. How do you do that? 
I use Webinar Jam, which really automates the whole email process. I just send out, you know, I'm reading this book. It's interesting because of this. Oh, here's a blog post I really enjoyed. Here's a bit of music that I've been listening to, along with some general thoughts about life, stuff I've been thinking about that week. And so to me, a newsletter is an opportunity to show how my brain works and how I think about things at a much deeper level. And it's also meant to de-platform users off of places like LinkedIn and Twitter and into an email address that I own. Seems like the end goal is the same. Social to email to core sales. But they each chose different channels to build that top funnel of potential customers. Justin is the number one influencer on LinkedIn. Kat has cracked the code to TikTok. I get intuitive hits of what content to make and I run make it and it goes viral. And Ali's educational speed talk works extremely well on YouTube. Channel excellence. But that's not all. It seems like Ali, Kat and Justin all share a simple truth that all professional investors also live by. They diversify by building multiple income streams based on that fundamental trust they've built with their audiences. Finding more things like that to build is how you sort of diversify and de-risk, you know, your situation as an entrepreneur. I'm gonna break down my 12 different streams of income across the last six years of this journey of being a YouTuber. Their primary thing is core sales, yes, but also affiliate income, ad revenue, paid partnerships, physical products even. Hmm, kind of boring. Don't they lie, steal and cheat their way to success? It seems like they and the rest of this $100 billion industry follow a simple blueprint. Choose a channel you like and get really good at creating content for it. Create a free mini product, a newsletter, an ebook, or a webinar to move people from that social platform onto your email list. Use automated emails to strengthen the relationship and pitch your paid products. Diversify with additional income streams like ads, affiliate links, own products, and coaching. And lastly, build a personal brand around all of it so you yourself become an asset. Getting the right tools to do all this used to be a problem. You need a website, video hosting, email marketing software, analytics, but today this is not really a problem anymore. Many great solutions are born out of this exploding creator economy, such as today's sponsor, Uscreen, a platform that helps you monetize and distribute your videos online. Imagine Cat was to rewind a couple of years. Her TikTok audience is growing fast, but she's making close to nothing from all that attention. She sits down in front of her screen, finds you screen, and starts creating an online home she can invite all her fans into. She could listen to Justin's suggestion. Get a cheap website on Card, throw your product on Gumroad, use Zoom or Loom for video. And just piece together a bunch of scattered low-cost tools. But that's a bit like choosing between a smartphone or a walkie-talkie, a typewriter, a camera, a computer, a record player, and a flashlight. All in one solutions exist. And as an online teacher, you need to invest a little bit in the tech that allows you to focus on how you create value by teaching what you know on video. Sign up for a free trial of Uscreen through the link below. This gives you 14 days to click around and get familiar with the platform before making any decisions. Thanks to Uscreen for helping creators monetize our knowledge 21st century style and for sponsoring this video. So it turns out the dark truth about these millionaire teachers isn't that they have access to something we don't have, tools or knowledge. The hard truth is that they all put in the work and stay consistent with this simple strategy year in, year out. I can tell you from experience, it's not easy, but the path is pretty straightforward. And the cool thing is you can start on the side. I did this for explainer videos and became a full-time online teacher with just 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. So don't think you need audiences like Justin's, Kat's and Ali's before you create your first digital product. If you need inspiration on how to structure a video lesson or a complete course, watch this video next where I share my way of structuring learning content in a fun way. Thanks for watching. And remember, everything around you that you call life was made up by people no smarter than you.